that I should please help this boy, which I did. I made a video. What we posted on social media, the live, the video was already have, the interview was already on private. The videos are with me, I'm going to be giving it to you, sir, so that you can listen to it. I would appreciate, it took a lot of effort for us to get this boy to even come out. The mother really wanted him to come out because she's also suffering from hypertension, she's afraid that she might die anytime or if this problem is not solved, and who will now look after this boy who has mental health issues now? And who was who is one of our strong? I'm sorry. <laughs> so, sir, please, I would like this boy to be brought in, interviewed, questioned, find out what exactly is going on with him. Don't cry. Whatever transpired between him and um, uh, Mali. You know, and uh, we are trying on our own part, the NGOs and a lot of our fans out there are really supporting the guy, they'll be sending money to him so that he can get treatment. We made arrangements for that. He's getting treatment already, but we are also very much, they are still afraid. We don't know why, we don't know what was have transpired for them to be so much afraid. But I gave it, I gave them so much confidence that I still believe in music for that. And I told them, I said, nothing will happen to you. Because I know you will be receptive, and you will get the right treatment. But there's a young boy that is just trying to survive that. And there's a lot of them out there that are going through the same. I am scared. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So please, sir. I just, sir. Nobody's gone already. It's a pity. I had that opportunity to do it in a few times. But unfortunately, you didn't tell us much. I didn't know much. But at least this. DJ Splash, right? He's still very much alive. And we need you to please help save this boy's life and find out. And whoever it is that is truly behind what he's going to be brought to go. So that other young ones can, can have the courage that they are going to search to run to new people and say, oh, please help us. And we need, maybe like he said, an online platform that they know that when they go to, they can send information or send a phone number or something to. You know, I know Officer Benjamin is on social media and is one of the people they always want to tag, you know, to send information to. But sometimes these informations are written out there, they don't know who is seeing it and who is going back to threaten them. So if they can get like, you know, an email or, you know, a website that they can go to, make their complaint and there's fast response. You know, it will also help these young ones to, to be able to come out whenever there's a problem at the state of so that's it for me. Okay. Okay. Um, from our point of view, um, my my point is what the lawyer has said. He has actually summed most of it up. But there are some salient questions and some salient positions that we we the people that are asking for justice for Mubarak are asking. We know that, as we say, as we heard, that they want to exhume the corpse of the uh, uh, mobile. We would like to know how soon that will be. We might not be able to know when, because of security or whatever reason, but we would like to know how soon that is going to be. And also, we would like to know um, how soon the autopsy report and every other thing will be. And also, a lot of times, the, 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 the chemistry between the police force and the public is still streamlined to a large extent. A lot of times, communication solves a lot of problems. There's still a gap between the, the Nigerian police and, and the, 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 the public. The truth of the matter is, just as we, have, as we have bad eggs in the society, we also have bad eggs in the court as well. But we believe that it is not everybody that is actually negative. There are still some people that are upright and stand for the right thing. Which is why we believe that uh, this, this, uh, this, what the court we're fighting for, if it is well treated and urgently treated and we get justice, we, the belief for the Nigerian police force would increase in the minds of the public. This is a, an avenue for us that justice can still, still be gotten anyhow. 
That is one. Two. We are also seeking. Okay. I was young